Welcome back. This is an Alex training video on writing the half reactions of a complex a redox reaction in acidic or basic solution. All right, so they're going to give you a balanced, um, a full balanced equation, and you're going to have to pull out what parts are being reduced and what parts are being oxidized. And remember, in the half reaction, you also need to include the electrons that have been transferred. Where are they? Okay, so I'm going to start with uh, just showing myself all the way across what are the oxidation numbers of each. Oxygen in compound is nearly always negative 2. Okay, so this is going to be negative 2 for the oxygen. And the carbon has to balance with this one. So we've got two negative 2s, so that means that's negative 4. And the carbon balances, since it's, they, they're always uh, equal, they're always neutral. So this is negative 4, so this is going to be positive 4. So this first carbon is positive 4, the oxygen is ne negative 2. Same thing here, this is negative 2. Hydrogen almost um, is positive 1, and I've got two positive 1s. Okay, so it balances. Iodine is given, it's got the charge already, so it's minus 1. Okay. Do the carbon last, because I don't know the carbon, but I do know oxygens and hydrogens. Hydrogen is positive one, oxygen is negative two, hydrogen is positive one, okay? And then the carbons, these two carbons will balance with everything else, so let's add them up. I've got one minus two is minus one, minus one plus five is positive four, and the two of these balance with positive four. That means this carbon is negative two. Okay, the hydrogen is positive one, the oxygen is negative two, and here I've got iodine, but this is elemental iodine. Uh, iodine is a diatomic uh, element, which means that if you were to dig it out of the ground, this is solid, it's gonna be I2. And so anything that's elemental, or in the free state is an oxidation number of zero. All right, so what went up and what went down? So let's look at reduction first. I'll write up here and then we'll come and do the other one. Reduction first is the ones going down. So I've got the four carbons on this side coming to a it's positive four on this side, but negative two on this side. So this one went down, all right? So this is the part of this that went down is the carbon dioxide, CO2, gas, okay? And it went to what? It went to this carbon compound. It's uh, ethanol, which is a liquid. Now, we have to take care of the electrons, I'm sorry. We have to take care of the electrons. How many electrons went away? All right, so we have four positives on this side, but two negatives on this side. So I went from, I went from two times positive four, so I had eight positives, down to, so I had eight going to minus four. So how far is that? Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. There's 12 electrons. And I'm going to add the electrons to the one that's most positive. Well, this one was negative 2, and this one was positive 4. So I want the, the 12 electrons on this side to cancel. And so now I've got the electrons there. So I've got gas plus electrons plus this liquid. Okay? All right. The next one is the oxidation. All right, so my oxidation is the ones that went up in charge, and I see this as iodine is negative one going to zero. So this is going up from negative two to zero. So my oxidation is going to be the I2, or I negative, which is aqueous, going to I2, which is solid. Now, where, what electrons do I do? All right, this is, this is, um, let's, let's go back here. I've got 12. I had a total of 12 negatives 
on that side. And on this side, I've got two times six is zero. Okay, I've got two times six, I oh, beg your pardon. I've I extracted it. This is just I to I two. So this is zero and this has to be balanced. So what am I gonna have? I'm gonna have two, two I twos, two I twos, which is negative one, and then this is zero. So this is negative, this has to be negative. Okay, so that's all we got negative now. Okay, this is everything we need. Now we simply write it out, okay? Ah, uh, they're asking for basic or acidic. I'm sorry, I'm gonna to have to add one more step. This is my this is my basic. You're gonna start with here. Now you're going to add some steps uh, to make sure if it's an acidic or basic solution, all right? Um, all right. No, I'm done. All I wanna do is make sure that my carbon dioxide my 12 is on this side, and my ethanol is on the right, and then everything else that touches it. So let me, let me write the easy one first, okay? Oxidation, I've got 2I negative aqueous yields I2 solid plus 2 electrons, right? That's all I have because that's all that's touching the eyes. There's nothing else here that has an eye in it, okay? So that means this is the only part that's oxidized. The other is everything else is your reduction, right? So, and I'm just going to copy it as, uh, copy it as is right from, from here. Two, mm, sorry, there's two here. I forgot. This is two carbon dioxide gas plus 12 electrons yields C2H5OH aqueous, no, is that aqueous? Okay, okay, plus, all right, so on this side, I've got waters, okay, I need water on this side, sorry. Nine H2Os. So I've got the carbon dioxide, I've got the water, I've got the iodines. All this is on this side. On this side, I've got the alcohol. I need 12 OHs. And I've got the I've got the iodines here. Alright. So I've separated them. So what's happened is the carbon dioxide had oxygen in it. So the waters and the hydroxides were added to that to balance all the, the oxygens. So it's already done for you. You just have to extract it. So I pull this, put it, put it here, and then add everything else on the top that had oxygen in it on this side, and then this one got away with it. Okay. All right. Pretty, pretty hard. Uh, but if you do it again, I think you'll be closer.